the media calls you an international phenomenon. At 73 years old, you look and act like a 20-year-old. What is your secret? Well, I don't know about 20, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I have a lot of energy, motivation, and goals in life. My secret is simple. It's very important to understand that you are what you eat physically and you are what you think emotionally. So eat healthy and have positive things. Be positive. As far as I know, you're the only woman in the world that sings in 12 languages. And I write professionally in three. I also have 32 hobbies and professions, and I am the president of two prestigious organizations. So I work around the clock. As a child, you were a destitute political refugee. Indeed, I lost my home, my friends, and my country. We arrived in France with one suitcase per person. We had nothing, we were destitute. I was a lonely teenager, and music eased the pain. For my 16th birthday, I got a guitar from my daddy that changed my life. I became a songwriter, I won a contest, and uh, I became a pop star in France. I had a record, a record company, I had hit songs, I had my first kiss from Salvador Dali. I had my first red rose from Alain Delon. And I was invited to the Paris Opera by the General de Gaulle to honor the Queen and the King of Belgium. That was an amazing Cinderella story. How did you get here to America? I fell in love and I married an American lawyer who later became president of McDonnell Douglas Finance. And so I moved to Hollywood where I raised two beautiful children, two very successful children. And in the meantime, I studied my craft at UCLA with the biggest authorities of the country. So I became a pretty strong oriented songwriter. As I understand, you wrote 500 songs in three languages? Uh, one of them was featured on the Jerry Lewis Teleton. Another one raised money for blind and orphan children. And a third of my songs um, is helping the homeless. You are an amazing artist. You fight with your songs for humanitarian causes. Indeed, I write songs against injustice, violence, war, drugs, drunken drivers, discrimination, and kids killing kids. But I also write songs for fun, like Butterfly, The Little Island, Baby Can't You See, I'm a Little Witch, and what you don't know is that I am also an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> it's a one-hour show and I wrote the whole scenario. It's a love story between Elvis and Priscilla. It's beautiful, it's going to make you laugh and it's going to make you cry. If you like what I do, I am available and I am at your convenience. Here is the secret. Elvis is a woman.